Opera House to see the Goldman Awards. We're really excited to be here and let's see what's inside. Let's go check it out. How's it going, green screen viewers? You're not gonna believe where I am right now. We're basically in probably the biggest event, the biggest night in environmental history. We are here at the Goldman Environmental Awards, basically the equivalent to the Academy Awards. And man, is it crowded right now. I mean, I've already, I just came out of the most incredible, iconic presentation ever. We're gonna meet six recipients, as many as we can. There are a total of six of them. I will do whatever I can to get all the interviews possible, but don't worry, you're gonna have a piece of the action through and through. Let's go up, come on. Welcome back, green screen viewers. We are now officially in the reception hall for journalists. We're ready to interview as many recipients and even the, uh, the Goldman family if possible. So uh, right now, uh, it's really happening right now. We got a few other journalists here also doing interviews, but I don't think they'll really take up any of, uh, any of our space. Let's go check them out. Let's go. Hello again, green screen viewers. I'm here with, I'm very, I'm very honored to be in the presence of another recipient. You know him, you love him. Senor yeah. Embedded. Yes, yes. Yeah, um, So, uh, tell us, um, from what we saw in the video, you have done an incredible job in your country. It seems to be really catching on over there. What do you believe is the future for organic farming in Cuba? Well, I think it's a... Uh, it's, uh, I think it's the, it's, the main, it's the main thing that we have to plan. I think the main sprint would be toward to organic farming. Because it's, it's a way that we can be even more freedom in the way that you can produce your own food and you can promote diversity. So diversity of crop means diversity of culture and means to be autonomous. So for me, the future has to be organic. I don't see all the way. How's it going? I'm here with a very special guest. This time though, I'll let him introduce himself. Say hello to everybody. Okay, my name is Randall Leddows, and I'm the president of the Costa Rican NGO, Pretoma. So tell us, um, uh, can you, is there anything that the video didn't cover that you could tell all our viewers about basically what you guys have done or are doing right now? Well, um, the video explains the problem. Um, I didn't have enough time to explain it in the video though, though but in Costa Rica we've made some major advances on, um, on enacting legislation on how to stop the shark finning, for instance, we call for the sharks to be landed with the fins attached. This is very, very efficient to stop the shark finning, and other countries are following. And for instance, in the United States, they're considering the same legislation, um, but the West Coast fishermen are opposing it. And the only reason why anyone would oppose this regulation is if you're finning sharks. So we're probably going to be calling on the U.S. people to help us get this law enacted in the state so that the United States can really help Costa Rica and other countries to implement this policy globally. Uh, we need to make major changes in law. And as you all know, the changing law doesn't always require the science, but it's more a political thing. It's more a situation of interest. So what we try to do is we give the people, for instance, in Costa Rica or here, here, in, here in the United States, the best information available so that they can push their, put their pressure on their governments so that there will be real policy change out at the seas. The problem we have right now is the international seas are no man's land. There's no law. And there's a lot of effort now at the United Nations to create laws and to regulate fisheries in the high seas. And for that, we need strong leaders, nations, to lead these processes and to call for these new laws. And Costa Rica has been trying to do that, so has the United States, but we need to make a real strong consolidated front. And for that, we need the support of the people of the world. Well, there you have it. We mentioned to interview half of the recipients. These are incredible people. They've inspired so many. They're doing the best they can. And I think it's really paying off. It was a great pleasure meeting them. Yeah, we had a really fun time, and we hope to come next time. For sure. Green screen out. See ya. Bye.